In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate a powerful technique favoured by professional photographers, High Dynamic Range Merge, or HDR Merge. HDR Merge is used to combine multiple photos of the same subject, each taken at a different exposure level. Typically, one for shadows, one for midtones, and one for highlights. By bringing together these photos, PhotoPlus can create a composite image that would be impossible to capture in a single shot. Scenes of high contrast, such as sunsets or indoor environments with strong lighting or shadows, are suited to HDR merge. You'll need three versions of the same image. One taken at a normal exposure level, one underexposed, and one overexposed. If your digital camera supports auto bracketing, you can set it up to automatically take several shots at different exposure levels. A 2 EV spacing is considered optimum for most images. Alternatively, you can set the exposure of each shot manually. Values of 2, 0 and minus 2 are typically used. OK, enough theory for now, let's get down to business. I've already launched PhotoPlus, so I'll open HDR Merge from the File menu, but you can also open it directly from the Startup Wizard. Now I'll add my photos. For this demo, I'm using photos taken inside a cathedral. These images contain bright areas, windows with strong natural light, as well as strong indoor lighting, contrasted with heavily shadowed areas where detail is lost. Notice that the exposure values of my photos are displayed here. These values are crucial for successful HDR merging. If you're using scanned images from camera film, they won't possess these EXIF-derived exposure values, so you'll have to click the Edit Exposure button and then add your own exposure values, if you've kept a record. Or you can just start with 2, 0 and minus 2, and then experiment with the results. You'll notice also that the Align Images checkbox is selected by default. If you're absolutely sure that your source images are perfectly aligned, perhaps by a third-party application, you can clear this box. Otherwise, PhotoPlus will attempt to match and align the photos based on their pixel data. If you're working with photos taken with a digital camera, leave the Infer Film Response Curve box unchecked. If your photos are scanned images from camera film, you should select this checkbox. You can read more about this option in Online Help. Now I can go ahead and click OK to proceed with the merge. At the top of the dialog, I can clear the checkbox for a particular image to exclude it from the merged output. Now, I can modify the merged image using a series of adjustments, and then use my eye to obtain the best merge results. Generally, you'll want to adjust the compression and brightness values, but depending on your particular image and the results you want to achieve, you may also want to experiment with the other sliders. You can find more details on these adjustments in the online help. As you drag the sliders, it's a good idea to also keep an eye on the histogram to make sure that the tonal range of the image fits into the visible graph without clipping. If you want to maintain the highest level of detail in your merged image, select the Output 16 bits per channel checkbox. OK, I'm happy with my adjustments, so I'll go ahead and click OK. At this point, I'm asked if I want to save my intermediate HDR image or just open the merged image in PhotoPlus as a new untitled project. Choosing Yes means that if you want to merge these same images again in the future, you won't have to go through the process of selecting, aligning and merging them all over again. However, you will still need to reapply any adjustments made. I don't want to save an intermediate file, so I'll just click No. My merged image opens in the PhotoPlus workspace. If I just click through these images on the Documents tab here, you can see what a great job PhotoPlus has done aligning and merging the different exposure values of these three photos.